Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Hope you're doing well today. I have got another massive lager to review for you. And I say massive purely in the sense that it is everywhere all of a sudden. Um, it is a Spanish, well, it was originally a Spanish lager. It is uh, Cruz Campo, originally of Sevilla in the south of Spain. Um, this stuff, you used to be able to get the imported version probably as little as three years ago. You might even still be able to get it. I had the sub, the Krupp sub. Um, during lockdown, a lot of people splurged on, on, on beer machines. I was I was one of those. And the Chris Campo Lager was one of the ones I used to buy. I quite enjoyed it. Um, so it's uh, a beer originates from Sevilla. Um, however, however, all Spanish, all looks very, very, you know, very legit. Chris Campo Sevilla, all this lot is all written in Spanish there. Can't read a word of that. But then on closer inspection, it says, Brewed in the UK by Heineken UK Limited up in uh, Edinburgh. So it's obviously contract brewed now by Heineken. I can't remember if the ABV was 4.4 like it is now. 660 mil bottle, 4.4% ABV lager. I honestly cannot remember if it was that week initially. Now that it's contract brewed over here, have they dropped the ABV? I wouldn't be surprised. Um, there is the bottle camp with the Cruz Campo written on it. Cerveza, and apparently they've been brewing this stuff originally since 1904. So it's got a bit of heritage, which makes it even sadder when they start letting big companies like Heineken contract brew it for them. Um, in my opinion, I just think it's more, more of a shame. Um, let's give it an aggressive pour so you don't get a head on it. Give it a bit of life. Leave it there so we can see it. So this stuff is everywhere now, isn't it? Absolutely everywhere. Every supermarket you walk into, it's there. A lot of the pubs are now got it on tap. Um, the Heineken have really gone to town with the with the branding. <coughs> a lot of the parasols that you see outside pubs have got Cruz Campo written on them. It's kind of doing what Madri was doing about sort of two years ago, three years ago. Um, it's become it's become that new, almost must have Spanish inspired lager. Um, but there it is in the glass, crystal clear, filtered within an inch of its life, gold looking lager. It is holding onto uh, a head, which is slightly encouraging. And that is clinging to the side of the glass, which is also encouraging. Uh, let's get me snouting, see what the aromas are telling us. Oh, wow. Not a lot. Whew. I'm really inhaling and I'm getting next to nothing. I genuinely am getting no aroma on that. <clears throat> Surely not. I have had a bit of a cold recently. I know I'm not completely out of the woods yet, but I'm smelling nothing on that whatsoever. A bit worrying. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. I mean, that's bad. It doesn't really taste them much either. It doesn't really taste them much. Bear with me one second. I'm just going to blow my nose in case my sinuses and then my senses are all mashed up. One second. <clears throat>
and we're back in the room. I think it's the first time I've ever done that on a beer review. <sighs> Wasn't anything up there anyway. Just doubting myself. There is nothing on the aroma at all. Like the slightest. And I do mean the slightest, slightly kind of sort of multi aroma, but it's so subtle. It's light, thin. Oh, but there's a weird, again, it's a slightly metallic, peppery finish, which is, I feel like it's trying to be sort of Pilsner-esque, slightly dry finish to it, which isn't really what you would expect from a Spanish lager. Even if I was in Seville right now, in boiling hot weather, and I just want a cold lager. I'd be really disappointed by that. That is just bad. That is bad. There's cheap and then there's, well, it's just an insult. I'll get the rest of it in there. That might flop over the top. I did give that a really aggressive pour. Trying to get a bit of life into it. It stayed in. It stayed in, ladies and gentlemen. This has been probably the most unprofessional beer review ever. Hey, look at that, man. There's like no life in it. No life in that one. I've just done a review of um, a cheap little lager. And that knocks socks off of this one. Much better than this one. That's dead. There's no sort of multi sweetness to it. There's no sort of refreshing citrusy edge to it. The only note of any note in this beer is this weird, slightly dry, slightly chemically finish. And it's borderline unpleasant. And if you serve this at any temperature other than ice cold, you're going to know all about it. And you're not going to want to finish it. Um, I'll be honest. That is. Considering this stuff is everywhere. At the moment. This is the first time I've tried it. Excuse me. Since drinking it. From the sub. And we're going back about four years now. This is the first time I've tried the new. The sort of branded. Heineken. Version. And I've got to say, that is one of the worst lagers I can remember drinking in a long time. It's poor. That is a, that is a piss poor attempt at a lager. And not that the people at Cruz Campo will probably care, because I imagine they're making quite a bit of money from the Heineken contract. And not that the people at Heineken will care, because they're making a lot of money out of it. Um, but that is bad. That is a poor excuse for a Spanish lager. And there are some bloody good lagers being brewed in Spain. You go to Spain, you need to get some cracking lagers. You really do. That, that is poor. I'm actually, I think Heineken should be ashamed of themselves for knocking that out. I really do. It's bad. There's nothing to like about that. There's nothing to like about it. It's a piss poor attempt. And I genuinely, I don't think I could be bothered to finish it. I don't see the point. Why would I put that in my body when it doesn't taste any good? It's just alcohol. It's a waste of alcohol. Um, yeah, it's bad. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm going to give that a one out of ten. Just just for the effort, the label, the fact they bothered to put it in a bottle. Um, but nothing else has gone into that that's worth talking about. That's piss poor. Cruz Campo. Awful. Awful, awful lager. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Until the next one, you take care.